Hi everybody, I'm Tony Dietrich-Lizzi. I'm an author and an illustrator of books for young readers. Um, I'm here at home and chances are you're probably at home as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm here in my studio where I've created all sorts of books over the last 20 years. I've written some books, I've illustrated some books, and I've written and illustrated some books. And I have a few favorites. This is one of them. It was written by a woman named Mary Howitt nearly 200 years ago, and it's called The Spider and the Fly. I illustrated this book back in 2002, and as a matter of fact, this is my old copy from that book tour, and I'd love to read it for you today. The story opens before the words start, here in this house. And if you look very closely, you'll see there's a light on in the attic. This is the title page for the book. It was inspired by old silent movies from the 1920s. If we look inside that window in the attic, we see another house, a house within a house. And those lights are on. We also see a little fly right here looking in. Let's see what happens. Will you walk into my parlor? Said the spider to the fly. "'Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. "'The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, "'and I've many curious things to show you when you're there.'" So here's the spider showing the fly this fancy house. Do you think she'll go in? Let's see. "'No, no, no,' said the little fly. "'To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. So here's the fly. Looks like she's been traveling. She's got a suitcase and a hat box. Let's see what happens next. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? Said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you'd like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. So here's the spider talking to the fly. And now we see ghost bugs. Let's see what happens next. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. I've often heard it said they never, ever wake again who sleep upon your bed. So here she is looking into his bedroom. And we see the ghost bugs warning her with a book called The Joy of Cooking Bugs. Let's see if she heeds their warnings. Said the cunning spider to the fly, Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? So he's made quite a banquet for the fly, including roasted weevil, bull weevil, with a side of pill bugs. Sounds delicious. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. So she's pushing away the roasted bull weevil. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, how brilliant are your eyes. I've a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. So the spider's taken an old bottle cap and polished it up like a mirror. And you can see he's kicking away one of the ghost bugs to keep him from warning the fly. Do you think she'll go into the parlor? Maybe? Let's see. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. But bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. Whew. She's leaving. She's not staying. She's on to the spider and his wily tricks, I think. The spider turned him round about and went into his den for well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. 
Oh, he's got a plan. Let's see if it pays off. He came out of his door again and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with your pearl and silver wings. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, while mine are dull as lead. So here he is, singing from the rooftops to the fly. Do you think she'll come back? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his wily, flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft and near, and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head. Poor, foolish thing. Here she is. He's kissing her hand. She's awfully close. Alas, alas, up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor, and she never came out again. Oh, he's got his chef's hat on. He's got a knife and a fork. And if you look very closely, there's a bug with glasses who looks suspiciously like me. And now, dear little children, who may the story read, to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you never give heed, unto an evil counselor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. There it is. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did reading it. Be well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.